video is brought to you by HelloFresh. Take a bite out of summer with HelloFresh. From chef-crafted seasonal recipes to their new fresh and fit summer menu, HelloFresh brings flavor right to your door. All right, boys, today we are making some chicken sausage rigatoni. All HelloFresh boxes come with pre-portioned ingredients to help cut down on food waste, and with their simple to follow step-by-step -step instructions, it makes cooking yourself at home a breeze. Guys, this is smelling so freaking good. We got the noodles all cooked up. It's just about ready to get mixed in. If you find yourself eating the same old thing every night, luckily HelloFresh has a ton of different options, up to 40 weekly recipes that you can choose from. So you can always pick something new, have it delivered, and you don't have to just keep picking the same old boring meal every single day. But you guys know me, I freaking love these pasta meals. They are so freaking good. So we're just about ready to get this poured into our noodles here. And I think somebody's doing a rice or flyby outside. Noodles in there. And lastly, the cheese. And just like that, we have ourselves a meal in less time than it would have taken to go get some fast food. If you guys want to get started on HelloFresh, all you have to do is go to HelloFresh.com, use our promo code BoostaBoys50 to get 50% off your order and free shipping. That is code BoostaBoys50 for 50% off your order and free shipping. Thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Starting right now, if you guys place an order on the BoostaBoys.com, it doesn't matter if you order a sticker, shirt, any order will 100% guaranteed come with a piece of our Tesla plaid. We completely chopped this thing up. I signed every piece, Wyatt signed several as well. And if you guys want a chunk of our Tesla to help recoup us cutting up a very nice car, feel free to place an order and you will get a chunk of this thing. I mean, someone's even gonna get half of our VIN number right here. This was straight off of the door pillar. If we keep getting more orders, we will keep on cutting. We will make sure every order has a piece of Tesla in it. Fire it up, old son. <laughs> All right, let me just start it up real quick. Man, that's got a great exhaust note. Sounds so good. <laughs> That is definitely the heaviest car that's ever drove up that ramp, and All it shows. How classic <laughs> All the creaks. Dude, it bows that ramp so bad. All right, well, since this requires absolutely zero prep, let's uh, check We're the tire pressures and go put it in line. We don't have to check oil levels. We don't got to top it off with fuel. We don't have to ice the ice box. <laughs> it's so simple. We just unloaded it. We're ready to rip, boys. It's right. fully charged. We're pretty much EV people at this point. It's gonna sell all our internal combustion stuff. Yeah, old Elon Musk, man. You're ruining us. <laughs> well, boys, this is what you've been waiting for. We are here at Bradenton Motorsports Park, and we are going to take Eroy down the drag strip and see how fast this thing goes. As you guys know, this is a Tesla Plaid that we recently just turned into a cyber cart, whatever you want to call it. The thing's ridiculous. It weighs almost 900 pounds less than it originally was. Its best time here was, I believe, a 9.3, and that's when I drove the car from our house out here, which is like an hour drive. Yeah, it's right here. It went a 9.33 at 1.48. That is the Tesla's best time. And for today, we have this thing fully charged and we trailered it out here. So this thing is ready to rip. And as you can probably tell, we got the page all tainted. You guys probably didn't expect that to happen so fast because normally it takes us, uh, don't look at those lines right there. <laughs> it looks great. Normally it takes us months. I mean, it's my fault. Normally it takes me months to or even years to paint the roll cages. <laughs> but this one we did right away. Our guy Ryan knocked it out with a uh, black spray paint can. It has these lines right here because we had the window net zip tied for a little bit, but we just got our uh, part in right here so we can actually buckle it properly. So we just got this installed because this is a open body vehicle and we are required to run a window net. In case something goes wrong, we need to keep all of our limbs and stuff inside the vehicle at all time. And not only do we have a window net, but we have some armor strengths as well. And those are also required to run an open body car like this. Everything was supplied by our boys over at Race Quip. So huge shout out to those guys, getting E-Roy nice and safe here. Uh, we also added a couple more bars in the back since the last video. So why I got these knocked out. We also might take this out to the old Freedom Factory that's right over there. And there's a chance we might try to run this in spectator drags. And we figured it would be good to brace those shock towers a little more it's something we wanted to do but we just didn't get done in the last video so we triangulated those to get the shock towers more support and i have seen the comments about how ugly these shock towers are and we have talked about possibly uh chopping those all the way out and mounting them to the frame and making them more tubular but to be fair it looks pretty good now that they're black good. yeah it looks good now that they're all painted you know that's color matched it actually i think it looks pretty good they're still a little obnoxious but yeah, they're not the they're greatest. Not bad. The, the Tesla rear shock towers are pretty 
pretty dumb looking like that. But with the cage and everything, I think it ties it all together. So yeah, I'm gonna get suited up. There's really nothing to it, boys. I mean, you guys know the deal when we're out here, we're normally icing an ice box, making sure fuel's topped off. We're checking oil, we're booting up new tunes. We always have a process to get one of our drag cars ready, but this thing, all we did is plug it in overnight, drove it into the trailer, drove it out, and we're ready to take it down the strip and see what a 900 pound lighter Tesla Plaid with no body on it is about to run. We're also probably gonna take the wing off right here because this really isn't doing us any good out here. It's probably just gonna cause more drag and it's extra weight. So we're probably gonna pop this guy off before our first pass. And I don't think I really have too much more to say. I mean, you guys know the deal. This video might not even be that climactic. We might just do one run and that's one it. And done, one and up, done, Because these are very consistent cars and I just wanna see what it's gonna do. My guess is an 882, a 150, seven. What yeah. do you think, Wyatt? I'm gonna say like an 880, but at like 153. I oh, you don't think it's gonna trap his side? I think it's gonna be I down bet. mile an hour. I bet top. we're over 155, that's my guess. Yeah, but I think it's gonna pick up in the short track and lose on the top end. I mean, the only way to find out is to do it. So yep. I'm gonna go ahead and get strapped up and see what this thing does. All right, we are suited and booted. I also wanna show this beautiful new helmet that we just got. Shoo, that's a Look at the carbon fiber on that bad boy. So we're gonna be testing out our new helmet, our new race car. Let's see how fast we go, boys. I'm kind of nervous, but also I'm just gonna send it. Right. I don't know what's gonna happen. Just let it eat. It felt a little squirrely at like 80. All but... I know is if it goes slower than it did originally, I'm retiring. I'm done. I'm gonna quit YouTube. <laughs> yep. Throw the car away. You heard it here first. <laughs> All right, guys. First pass in the Tesla Plaid. I got my arm restraints on. We are good to go. It is in drag strip mode. It's not at peak performance yet. It still has two minutes remaining, but we're just going to see what it does here. All right, guys, coming up for the first pass in the plaid. <laughs> we're going to see what this thing does, man. I really have no idea how this is going to go. Hey, sorry if it's a little loud. Hey, I, I can't hear you. What? <laughs> sorry, it's a little obnoxious. Get on the two step, please. <laughs> All right, entering cheetah stance. Come on, baby, let's see what you got. <laughs> A 915 at 149. I told you, I told you. <laughs> To be honest, it didn't feel that much crazier than it was before. I don't know how fast that was. We might have to give it a couple more runs to uh, let the computer relearn traction control because that was the first rip after we got done welding some more things. I don't think the traction control was calibrated at all because it was spinning pretty good. Oh, I forgot, I have my draggy right here. According to the draggy, we just did a 9-1, a 0 to 60 in 2.1 seconds. I'm honestly a little disappointed in that, boys. We better see an eight second pass out of this thing today. I'm gonna put it right back in line and try again. I think once it learns, if it adapts like it did on the street, yeah, it, it'll it's go quicker. Hard. Yeah. So I think that's it. I mean, I'm telling you, man, I think the aerodynamic loss isn't outweighing the weight we loss. You gotta try it again. The draggy said it only did a 1.6 to the 60 foot. Right. And it's been faster than it that. It only does 140s. Right. So we're already 210 slower to the 60. Yeah. So I think we just keep running it and hopefully it like starts to adapt to the track. Yeah. See what it does. Try it again. Hot lap it. Now that the batteries are warm, maybe it goes quicker. Yeah, it's also in peak performance now. It wasn't before. Yeah. All right, well, let's see what it does. All right, guys, one advantage to the EV, we can just hot lap this thing back to back. Ain't gotta worry about nothing. So we're back up here, literally 20 seconds after the last pass. See what it'll do. Come on, this thing better go in eight. That computer better start learning. A 906 at 150. All right, it's improving. I think the next pass might just be the eight. We definitely need to get some better tires on this thing. 9-0 with a 157 60 foot on the draggy. 2.05 0 to 60. Let's go, boys. Not bad. We're gonna put it right back in line. It was a 906. 150. 906. 
Yeah, the drag you told me 907. I think it's learning a little bit though. Yeah. Try I think again. just a little heat in the battery and everything's helping too. Damn, dude, I thought it was gonna go way faster than that, boy. <laughs> I don't know, man. I really think the aerodynamic loss is, is slowing you down. Dude, it's going 5.8 though to the, the eighth mile. Yeah. 124. Just moving. That's faster than the hatch by two tenths almost. Right. But I mean, it's running a 9.0 flat. There's very few eight second flats out there. Right. If any other, there's like one or two that I know of. If it gets any better, it should be like an 8.99. Right. So we'll see if it improves. Cool. See what it does. I'm just curious if the computer's learning each time we do it. Right. All right, guys, third pass in the gutted plaid. Let's see if this is the eight second pass. It's got to be. Come on, third time's the charm. seven at 149 frig dude dang it guys the draggy said that one was a 915 with a 1.55 60 foot i say i'm a little disappointed yeah i thought she'd be running easy eights but that arrow must really affect it all right e really for sale the eighth mile is chooching we're two tenths faster than to the eighth than it's ever yeah. been but it's trapping the same mile an hour yeah so, I think up top it's really hard. So it's either the arrow or there's a possibility that the car is, has some limiter in it, which I doubt, I bet it's just the arrow. Right. Not that this thing's shaped like a bullet in any way from the factory, but I think just that the wind coming around this front end, I think there's a lot to be gained there. Yeah, it would probably benefit a ton from a one-piece front end to cover all that up. Yeah. I know for a fact how it is, if we just had a good tire on it, it would do an eight though, because right. it's fighting for traction all the way to the 330. Right. I can feel it. You can hear it. I can feel it grabbing and it's letting off power to hook and then power on. Yeah, what was that, a 915? That's what my dragon yeah. said. Rick, dude. <laughs> Time to sell it, it's slow. I'm done, I'm retired. <laughs> we did all that for nothing, boys. Right. I mean, it did get two tenths faster. Today. Actually three, well, overall. Well, overall. Too. It's best quarter mile was a 9.3 and we just went a 9.0 something. Yeah. So we're on the right track. And I know there's a lot to be gained once we put some good tires on it. Right. This should be 60 foot in like bottom one fours. And that would put us in the eights for sure. What you think of this rig? Dude, this thing is sick, dude. The name? Epic. Yeah, I think it hit it pretty good. Yeah. You know what? Let James drive it. He can't break this one. Oh, yeah, you can rip this one all you that, want. I guarantee you I could find, find a way to break it. <laughs> James will find a way. Maybe we should find a way to break it. Maybe we should take that statement back. You wanna drive this dude? No. No? <laughs> yeah, dude, this is this is legit. So we're you know? down to the 60 foot though than what it normally does. Yeah, that's what you're saying. It's slow to the 60, but yeah, I think it being so light, the traction control's yeah, fighting it. Probably what's happening is it's trying to break traction launching at the weight loss that you you obviously gave the thing. Uh, but I got a trick, dude. We're gonna, I'm gonna have them fog, you know, hand spray, and you're gonna launch through it, and we're gonna back up and stage the car. Because the thing is, is you already went with what a 90. Yeah, it's been a 90. So if we can just get the tenth back to the 60 foot, that's gonna be an 890 pass. Yeah, all okay. I wanted to see out of this thing was an eight second pass, and it should be Sorry, able to no, do it. I know for sure. Once we do a drag tire setup, it will do it no problem. Yeah, but. Oh, if you get some sticky tires on it. Yeah, there's game. some other gutted ones out there running bottom one fours, high one threes. Yeah, yeah. We and get obviously the arrow ain't going to matter at the 60 foot. No, not at all. It's all about traction. So we're back in the lanes, getting ready to make another pass. And for this one, we are going to let some more air out of the tires. We were at 38 PSI, which is pretty high up there. But we were talking to our buddy, Uncle Chet, who's drag raced his Tesla Plaid a ton. And he said letting a lot of air out of the tires doesn't really help too much. He told us to start at around 32 PSI and go from there. And we were a little higher than that we were at the oem uh settings so we're gonna let about five psi out of each tire see if that helps at all and james just got here what we're gonna do is we're going to kind of mist the track right before i go up with some glue we're going to launch through it and i'm going to back right up to get the tires as hot and sticky as we can and go from there because this car has been 148 to the 60 foot when it was full weight full interior i think the best we've done today so far is like a 156 so it's almost a tenth down on the 60 foot and that right there would easily put us in the eights. I know the mid-range has picked up a ton though because even though the 60 foot is slower, our eighth mile is two tenths faster than it's ever gone before. So if we can just match that 60 foot, it's definitely got an eight second rip in it. We just gotta get this thing on some better tires, but hopefully we can pop off that eight. 896. 896? Yeah. 
I was only two numbers off on the Wago pass, so let's see what happens here. We need that James Luck. 896. Let's do it. And he just prepped the radial lane, so we're gonna go to the left lane. Okay. And just pull up, don't stage it, but pull up like a car length behind the beam, launch it, you know, let it like a little bit, then stop and back up and stage it. And okay. It should see if it helps. All right, give her a shot. See how this goes. Peak performance There's is no ready. Water. There's no water down the left lane too, so you don't oh, have to drive perfect. around it. Cool. Come on, let's see that eight. I guess an 896, but 880. Yeah, 880. I'll take that. 149. 149 dude. <laughs> what did I say? Not bad. I said it's not bad. Isn't that crazy? You buy a wreck car, cut the body <laughs> off the mud, take it to the racetrack, and it's faster than stuff. Right. Right. Build it for years. For real. Dude, that's nuts. Yeah, 883. 883 at 149. Dude, I think, I think we got to put the front clip on it. It's missing mile an hour up dude. there. Oh, if we had 100%. a front bumper and hood, forget yeah. about it. Just 155, bro. Let it come to the tires. Yep. We can add a little F1 style like tire cutting yeah, behind them, about like it. the Honda guys did. <laughs> the Honda You'll guys. like it because you know he's a Honda guy. Right, yeah, it'll be right at home for us. That was sick though. Yeah, that was awesome, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, it didn't slip at all that time, boys. We just needed some better prep. Shoo, my boy James coming in clutch, getting them to prep the lane for us. 885. 885 0 to 60 in 1.87 seconds 56 to the eighth mile holy shit Woo! there it was boys i knew it should have done an 880 easy i was disappointed at first but it was just spinning so bad let's go that is freaking sweet boys looks like it wasn't a complete waste of time after all dude i think he's gonna be pumped about that one <laughs> Run him over. <laughs> didn't, dude, didn't slip at all. Not bad, dude. dude it tripped him at like the uh, 200 foot, but. Dude, 883. 883. James doesn't know that I'm not surprised because I had my dragon. I know you know that, right? I was like, yeah, I bet you did. I asked him. Did I you didn't look see at that 60 foot, though. Yeah, dude, a 136. 136. He's moving. 560 at 122. 883. That's nuts. The plaid record is an 870. 872 or something like that and that's in a full body plaid so i mean the arrow definitely affects it though because that other one is trapped in like 155 or yeah. something yeah we were so. just talking about that maybe the hood and front bumper back on it yeah yeah we kept we'll all definitely the pick up five mile an hour we kept all the front like end components to put yeah on. yeah it'll go right back on i think maybe. front bumper hood and maybe just like a tiny bit of the front fender i can't believe it just did a 136 yeah 136 it all it was yeah like, whoop I'm yeah. Like, oh yeah it, it there chirped it, is. it it chirped it at the 200 foot it had one chirp one little chirp and then Boy, it went, it probably, that's probably when it went 100%. Probably. Yeah, it's just like, problem. give it the beat. Well, I say we gotta do at least one more to back it oh, up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We don't got nothing nice, no gas to top off. We're ready uh, to yeah, go. Let me fill it up for you, bud. Wow. Right. Wow. Can you, can you we're we're down to 80% battery. What a rough day at the track. <laughs> <laughs> I still have AC in here, even though it doesn't <laughs> you stay in the car. Anymore. Can you imagine? Uh, I took my EV to the track, ran right out of batteries, had to go home. <laughs> yeah, did nothing else. <laughs> This is too easy. Takes the fun out of racing. Yeah. It's oh, cool. That, that pass was pretty fun. Though. I almost want to break something so you got something to work on. <laughs> right. Just a little dry hop, get some sticky on the tires. When an 882 or 883, my guess is going to go like an 880 flat. All right, time to back up that eight.
I think it needs that aerodynamic up front, man. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. How good, how good are you with carbon fiber, dude? Not that great. I mean, I did fix the MR2 door, but you know. <laughs> Let's see if I can make a whole one piece front end. <laughs> it still went 137 to the 60 foot and went 567 at 122. So it just slowed down up top. But it backed up the 880 pass. Yeah. So that's what he wanted to do. All right, guys, I know the Tesla stuff's kind of quiet and boring, but we got a bonus clip for you right here. This is Mark's all wheel drive K Series Civics, one of the fastest in the world. And uh, he's about to lay down a pretty spicy pass here. So you guys still get some K-Series Fireball 4-Banger content. And Jason's here from JBR. What's up, man? With a six. Wasn't it frustrate 738 with a seven? I think yeah. Yeah. He barely got him. <laughs> so that's the new world's fastest K series sequential all wheel drive car. A 192. Gnarly. All right, guys, we are getting ready to load up and get out of here. I was disappointed at first, but those last two runs, we freaking ran two back to back 880s with our best being an 883 at 149 miles an hour. Freaking five six to the eighth mile at 122. A 136 60 foot, which that is insane. That's moving, dude. I did not, dude, it feels so crazy in that thing. So I believe the arrow definitely plays a big role because it's trapping the same mile an hour out the back as it was when it had full interior, full weight. So I also know of another Tesla Plaid that still has its body panels on and it just weighs maybe 100 or 200 pounds more than us because it's completely gutted. And he actually has the world record and I believe it's like an 872 or 875 and he's been into the 160s before. So we're down 10 miles an hour on the world's fastest plaid out there. That's just probably because of the lack of body panels, but that short track is nuts. Yeah, that's moving, dude. That is so crazy, 883. So we're calling it good there and it's still at 80% battery. It still has 280 miles of range. I could easily drive this thing home right now if we wanted, but uh, yeah, we got a couple more things to do tomorrow. I think we're gonna try to bring this thing to the spectator drag, see what it does out there, but I'm pumped on that, boys. So we took a full half second off our quarter mile by removing everything on the Tesla Plaid. And I believe the Draggy saw a 1.87 zero to 60, which is also pretty freaking nuts. So yeah, that's gonna wrap up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'm just excited to see where this thing goes. It's already just turning out to be awesome. I was about done with it after those first couple <laughs> nines. I was like, you know what? I'm throwing it away. Sell it. <laughs> but it did what we expected and uh, we're going home happy, boys. And don't forget, if you guys want a chunk of Tesla in your order, theboosterboys.com. See you guys later.